guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel of course. Uh, for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that I picked up from TJ Maxx for this week as well as a vlog, you guys know the drill. I will go ahead and have my playlist down below in the description box. I do upload these videos every single Saturday. So if you're not subscribed and you wanna be part of this zone, this vibe, these major exciting Saturday videos, then join the family. Um, I did find a ton of stuff this week. I was literally mind blown, like that was, that was the main word I was using the whole time. I just could not believe half the shit that I found at TJ Maxx, you know? Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I will also leave my TJ Maxx makeup collection video in the description box. I recently filmed one, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And yeah, let's go, let's go, <laughs> let's go. All right, so we are back at it today. I just wanted to show you guys that they restocked on certain stuff. And I see that they also have a nice amount of these MAC foundations that we saw in the past. So this one and then this one as well. We found only like one or two, I think last week, but now they have apparently like 10 pieces of each. The next two things that I wanted to show you guys are from MAC as well. And these are the Extra Dimension Skin Finish Highlighters, I wanna say. And these are going for $14.99, which I think is priced pretty well for MAC. And both are in the same shade, which is Soft Frost. Here's what the highlighter looks like. It's pretty much just a white highlighter, but it has a pretty strong purple lavenderish undertone. So just have that in mind. If you're looking for this or if you're purchasing it, it'll probably show up pretty purpley on on the face. Okay, I also found one of these Makeup Forever um, highlighter and bronzer duo. This is insane, $19.99. I, I purchased this for the full price tag a few years back. I wanna say a good three years back um, on Sephora site. I still own it and I still really, really love it. This one right here is unfortunately broken. I do own it, so I'm not gonna purchase it, obviously. Um, but this is really, really nice. Amazing quality. The highlighter is a big jelly formula and then the bronzer is also really like seamless on the skin. So I see that they restocked on a bunch of these Laura Geller Matte Maker Invisible Oil Blotting Powders, which we've seen in the past, but we only saw like one or two chilling. Now I see that they have a whole stack. Um, if you do have oily skin, maybe you'll like something like this. It's $4.99. And then I thought that this was a pretty cool and exciting find. This is from Physicians Formula. Actually, someone's in for three powders, $5.99. Usually each one retails for I think 12 or 13 bucks. We have the Super BB Cream. We have the Mineral Wear Powder, which is an all over face powder, and then a different Mineral Wear Powder, which looks more like a bronzer. Okay, so we have seen a nice amount of Laura Geller in the past, right? But I don't recall ever seeing this. This is the Dew Dreamer Illuminating Drops in Opal Crush. We possibly saw this, but in a different shade, but now we have Opal Crush here. So for now, they do have four pieces here. They probably had more. I'm sure people purchased this. Retailing for $5.99, and remember, guys, these are full sizes so pretty good for Laura Geller. So here's what the dew drops look like. This one right here is more like a white but it has like a purpley pinky shift to it. Um, if you have the powder highlighter in, uh, what is that called? Diamond something. Um, Pure together I think they would work really nicely because I think this is the liquid form of that. I feel like this is just insane. They restocked in a bunch of these Laura Geller highlighters which is just so cool. I remember when I found these I was going crazy. I actually purchased two. So this is the highlighter shade I was talking about. The other one was like the liquid form. This is like the powder form and it's in the shade Diamond Dust retailing for $3.99. The value is insane. Okay like whoa. Just came across this. So so insane. This is a MAC eyeshadow. I only found one piece retailing for $5.99. Thank goodness it's not broken. It's in the shade Fresh Green Mix, which is kind of cute. It reminds me of salad. She has a marbleized finish on one side, and then on the other side, it's not really marbleized. I remember my sister was so into these kind of uh, eyeshadows from MAC. She purchased them from the store years ago for like, I think, 20 bucks each. And now to see it here for $5.99, I'm just mind blown. I see that we have a few of these Yes to Cotton Protects and Minimizes Irritation Comforting Facial Moisturizer. I don't know if I had to read all of that, <laughs> but this is basically... Thank you. Thanks. Um, but this is re retailing for basically $3.99. I will say that I tried the wipes from the Yes to Cotton line and I was not about it. Emma was not about it either. So I don't know if this would be good or not. Um, just letting you know my experience with the wipes. So in case you want to buy this, just have that in mind. This I thought was pretty cool too. This is the Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean um, Cleanser. I love, love, love the packaging. It's like mushy gushy. It's $17.99. It says ideal for oily skin. So if you have oily skin, this might be something you'd be interested in. And it has five fluid ounces of product. We have mm, two pieces over here. So you see that they recently stocked up on these Smashbox Full Exposure Mascaras. For full Explosion Mascaras. And these are retailing for $4.99. So we have a few pieces right over here. So I'm at Marshalls right now for a little bit. But basically it's a little set that includes the Mineral Wear Powder, a Happy Booster Lipstick, a Mineral blush as well as a brush these are all full-size products really really cute I'm loving these sets from Physicians Formula I think I like this one more than the other one for sure because you guys know I love blushes I love lip products
bag, so this has a little bit of everything. There's one piece here, and it's retailing for $5.99. And then, just looking up there, I had to pick up my head. So apparently, at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, you need to bend down and look up as well. This is the Highlight and Contour Pro Single Powder. So I see that we have them in three different shades. Each one is retailing for $3.99. It seems very, very light in weight. I have to just mention that. So we have tan, apricot, and nectar. So, so happy that I just found this. So I, um, there was a NYX powder right in front of this and then I see this and I'm like, oh, hey baby. This is the, and now I became even more excited for it. I'm like, okay, okay. This is the Laura Mercier Mineral Powder. It's retailing for $16.99 in the shade Tender Rose. So here's what the product looks like. This is just freaking insane. This is not her cold classic translucent uh, loose powder. It's the one on the shade Rose, like I mentioned. So that's probably why it's here. It probably didn't do well, but I don't think that we'll ever really find the translucent one because that one I think does very well and if it would be a TJ Maxx I would probably faint on the floor because there would be no way then I found this MAC frost lipstick which I thought was pretty cool there was only one piece like behind something here retailing for $9.99 which is typically what it retails for at TJ Maxx and Marshalls so it is one that was part of a collaboration part of the Viva Glam line so freaking cool the bullet is, is this gorgeous reddish shade and then the lipstick is like this brown it's really really pretty the frost um, finishes by MAC do have a little bit of like a frosty finish on the lips, obviously, as the name states. And they're pigmented, but some of them are not as pigmented as others. Scratch that, I just found two more pieces, which is pretty exciting. The next thing that I see here is this Elizabeth Arden Pure Finish Mineral Powder Foundation. Whoa. You can knock it better than that. $7.99, it's in the shade Pure Finish 01. So it is all sealed, which is great. I just wanted to show you guys the packaging. It comes with a puff, and the packaging is like this silver and gold. It's really stunning. So super beyond exciting. This I just found while bending down. See? This is the Lip Pencil by Laura Mercier, retailing for $7.99. What the hell? So here you guys can see what the shade looks like. It's a pretty gorgeous, warm, orangey red shade. And then what I thought was kind of neat is that it actually comes with a sharpener as well, which can always come in handy, you know? Also, the next thing I wanted to show you guys is this NYX Illuminator. So I only found one piece over here. So it's in the shade Ritualistic. Retailing for $2.99. So affordable. Wow. Okay, and then looking up, I wanted to show you guys that they have these CoverGirl and Olay advanced radiant i believe foundation let me just pull one down it has spf uh 10 this is retailing for 2.99 it's pretty cool i'll see if the line is long if it isn't i'll pick it up if it is and i'm gonna leave it here okay guys i don't know if you're ready for this but i am in major major shock here the first thing that really like knocked my socks off my feet was this how insane so you might be like okay what's the big deal this is the nars sun wash diffusing bronzer right so their bronzers used to be everything apparently things that used to be everything are in tj maxx what really got me though is that it's in laguna that is their cult classic bronzer of life so there was only one piece here and this is retailing for 16.99 and this one is in the newer packaging so it's not like it's the one that's in the older packaging that they're trying to get rid of it's the new one what and then here you guys can see what the bronzer looks like thank goodness it's not swatched again there was only one piece here i'm so so happy about this one i did finish a deluxe size of this bronzer already in the past so to have a full size in my life i'm just so happy <laughs> the next product we have here is the nars velvet matte foundation stick um, i do believe that this is currently on sale at, at nordstrom rack so if you can't find it at tj maxx maybe nordstrom rack might have it um retailing for 14.99 and here's what the shade it is medium 1.5 so here's what the foundation looks like i feel like it would work for me when i'm self tanned i'm going to think about this one the next two products that i want to show you guys are these laura mercier candle glow soft luminous foundations also a really really bomb amazing find these were pretty popular i would say these, these are retailing for 19.99 each i feel like with other foundations i wouldn't necessarily purchase them like the gucci one or the givenchy one you know but the laura mercier one like, I don't know, I can feel like it has a special place in my heart. We have them in two shades, suntan and cream, creme. Um, the one on the left is the suntan one, and the one on the right is in creme. The next Laura Mercier product I see here is this Full Blown Volume Supreme um, Mascara. Amazing to find it here, of course. Anything Laura Mercier, I'll take. This is retailing for $12.99. Not bad, actually. So here's what the mascara looks like. It just says Laura Mercier there. It's really nice, um, brown, sleek, just like a lot of her other products. The next thing that I see here is from Elizabeth Arden, and this is the four Forever Bronze Bronzer retailing for $6.99. So we did see the Forever Highlighter little um, 
compact a few months back which I purchased I love I think it's amazing I haven't heard anyone speak about it but I'm here to speak about it because it's so good so I'm really happy to see the bronzer here so they do have a few shades this one right here is in deep 02 I think it should still work out for me it basically has a bronzing shade a contouring shade a blush and a highlighter so super cute and cool to see this here so we've seen other Bobbi Brown products at um, TJ Maxx like other bronzers that they have but I don't think we saw this one this is the bronzing powder in the shade natural retailing for $17.99 the packaging definitely got me first I'm like oh I don't know if it's even interesting to show you guys but with this packaging I must here's what this bronzer looks like it's really pretty I feel like it's not too cool toned not too warm toned I think it'll look stunning on the cheeks I'm just uh, I really like this undertone. Contemplating between this one and the NARS one, I feel like my heart is definitely with the NARS. Yeah. How exciting is it to find more of these sun wash diffusing bronzers from NARS? Um, so yesterday we found Laguna, but today we found it in the shade Casino. Also a super popular shade by NARS. And these are also retailing for $16.99. I'm going to contemplate on this one because I feel like it's very similar to Laguna. And I don't know if I need two in my life. But for $16.99, it, it can't be beat. So we'll think about this baby. I, I just, I'm still in shock that I found these here. It just doesn't make any sense in my brain. The next few products I see here are from Becca. And these are the Ombre Rouge Eye Palette. So we have four pieces chilling over here. This was also a pretty popular release by Becca. Not crazy popular, but kind of. There's just no way. There's just no way. This is retailing for $12.99. So damn excited. What does this look like? Here's what the outer packaging looks like. It's beautiful, kind of reflective, mirrored. So gorgeous. You can kind of create that like radiant effect on the eyes. I definitely think I'm gonna pick this up for $12.99. And this is $40. <laughs> the hell? What the hell? Doesn't make sense to me. The next amazing find is from NARS. This is the highlighting blush powder. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't care how noisy it is in the background. I'm so excited for this. This is in the shade Albatross. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I only found one retailing for $9.99. Whatever this is, mommy's getting it. I always wanted to be that girl that had a collection of these NARS like highlighters and blushes, but I wasn't able to afford like 6,000 pieces of these. So I always settled for like the deluxe sizes. This is like a full size though. It's light enough for me. I'm so happy. You can see how much I'm smiling here. Oh, I love it. Insane, insane to find this here. This is the NARS Audacious lipstick. I remember purchasing like five or six of these for the full price tag, 34 bucks from Sephora years ago because I felt the need to get it and now I see it here at TJ Maxx for $7.99. So annoyed, so annoyed but still happy at the same time that I do not own this shade and that we found it here. The shade right here is Cold Catherine. It's a pretty warm orangey red shade. I love, love, love the embossment and the packaging is magnetic. So luxurious for $7.99. Insane. No words. Fainting. Okay guys and then we literally have like a shitload of these Laura Mercier Creme Smooth Lip Colors. So damn excited. We can go on for forever. Yay! Now let me just show you guys that they're all actually in different shades, which rarely, rarely happens. We're gonna go through all of them. I'll show you guys all the shades in case you are curious about them and wanted to purchase one for yourself. Let's do this. These are $7.99 each, and I believe on Sephora they're a good $25 to $30 bucks each. Ah, I'm so happy now. I don't even know. First shade we have up is called Lychee Parfait. This is a beautiful mid-tone nude. Next shade we have up is called Belize, I believe that's how you pronounce it. This one is a very, very warm orange. This one right here is Dolce de Leche. And this one is a, I believe more of like a raspberry nude. This one right here is called Maya, and this one is an orangey red, more reddish though. Next shade we have up on the agenda is this 60s pink. It's so beautiful. It's like a nude light pink. I love these kind of colors. You guys know that. This one right here is in Merlot, and this is a true wine color. This one right here is called Portfolio Red, and it's definitely a very true bright ass red with a hint of orange in there. Here we have the shade Antique Pink. Not so much my vibe, it's more of like a rosy pink. I'm not so into like rosy type of shades. This one is really pretty, it's called Milky Way and it's more of like a 90s grungy brown nude. I love this one. And then right here we have the shade Mango. This is like a rosy pinky type of color, very mid-tone. I think it's more warmer though. Okay, then I see that we have a bunch of these Velour Lovers lip colors from Laura Mercier as well. So different than their lipsticks. These Velour Lovers lip products are also retailing for $7.99. Amazing deal. And here we have uh, six different shades. Okay, first shade we have up is Addiction. This is a very, very true red. Like, pretty seductive, I should say. Next shade we have up is called Fantasy. And this is kind of like a corally pink. That's the best way to be able to describe this. This shade is called French Kiss. And it's a true bubblegum pink color. Looks like it's sweating. You guys can see. Right here we have the shade Temptation. And this is more of like a wine um, burgundy. This one right here is called called an affair and this is a true wine very very dark shades i should say we have this laura mercier lip lights deluxe mini lip collection kit so cool 
I'm not picking it up. A woman here found it. She found the last one, so she's gonna take it, but she let me film it. <laughs> this is retailing for $14.99. We get three lip products. It's okay if I open this? Yeah, 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 take it. So in this kit, we are getting a full-size lip liner in the shade Plumberry. That's what the shade looks like. It's more neutral nude. A gloss in the shade Bare Pink. It's such a stunning, like, pretty clearish baby pink color. Love it! And we have a deluxe size of one of the Laura Mercier lipsticks in the shade Coquette. And this is like a rosy... I don't know, plummy color. Next up, we have these Laura Mercier lip pencils. So we found one earlier this week, but we found two new shades here. Retailing for $7.99 each. These do come with sharpeners. Redwood is more like a reddish shade, and then Claire is, I feel like, either a white or a clear shade. Okay, then we have these two palettes here by Becca. I actually purchased both of these for the full price tag. These came out holiday 2018, so not this past year, the year before that. This one right here is the Eye Lights palette. Retailing for $19.99. Packaging is super beautiful. Looks very like uh, wintry um, and it's reflective. It's gold. You can use these as either highlighters, mix and match, or you could use them for the eyes. There are only like um, metallic shades in here, so just for reference. I'm not gonna lie, the one I have, I haven't used in a very long time. However, um, occasionally I will pull it out to mix and match to use as a highlighter and they do perform nicely on the face. That's how I personally like to use it. For 20 bucks, I would recommend it. Okay, then we have this Becca palette here. This is the Capri's Ski Glow Face Palette, also retailing for $19.99. Here's what this palette looks like. My friend Jackie's actually gonna pick this up for herself, but she let me like use it and touch it. Not use it, but like, like touch it. Um, she wants to purchase it. Here's what this palette looks like. We get some highlighting shades, a blush, and bronzers. Also with this, you can kind of mix and match. You can just apply it on your face with your fingers, with a brush. It looks very effortless on the skin, and these are very pigmented. So I see another Physicians Formula kit here. I'm loving these little kits because it's such a great value, you know? So we get a BB um, bronzer and blush, and then a powder as well as a bronzer, and then a brush too. Only $5.99 is seriously unreal. The next thing that I see here is from Becca, and this is the Ocean Jewels um, Highlighter Palette. Let's just take a moment for this one because I cannot believe that this is here. My heart is like racing so freaking fast. I purchased this for the full price tag on Sephora's site, I think two years back when it, reached, when it initially like released, you know? Here it's retailing for $12.99 in freaking sane. So here's what the outer packaging looks like. It is mirrored, it's silver, it looks like a mother spaceship, you know? They are very pigmented, very soft, very similar to these shimmering skin perfectors. But I don't feel like they're crazily wearable on a day-to-day -day basis unless this is your vibe, then go for it. But for me, I just didn't find that I used it a ton because of the unique shades that are included in here. However, you can always mix these with like a white shade and make it a bit lighter and therefore make it be a bit more wearable. The next thing I want to show you guys are these Kiss Blowout Lashes. These are retailing for $5.99, which I think is pretty good for four pairs. It's like a dollar or something each. And then I wanted to show you guys this My Sculpted Face Palette by It Cosmetics. So it doesn't even look like It Cosmetics packaging, but as you guys can see down here, it does say It Cosmetics retailing for $19.99. It is sealed, so I can open it up. And then here on the back, you could see there's a little bit of a diagram indicating how one should should use it or could use it. I wanted to also show you guys that they have these NYX Got You Covered Total Coverage Concealers. I did a review on this years ago. I actually really, really dislike it. It has such a thick ass feel. It's very hard to blend out and it creases like I don't know what. So I personally wouldn't recommend it. They're all in the same shade, which is Fresh Beige, retailing for $3.99 each. And this is an insane find. I remember when these came out. I remember, I remember everything. These are retailing for $7.99. As you guys know, this is like $28, I think, on Sephora or even $32. If there's like a shade that I'm into that's like deep, it's usually like these kind of shades, like bolder shades. It's like that orange red, not super, super red. You know, anyway, this is in the shade Mine Shaft. Then I see they have a nice amount of NYX products here. Firstly, I want to show you guys this. So apparently, a ton of little singles that you can uh, fill up a palette with. This is the Highlight and Contour Pro Single. It's basically a highlighter in the shade Ice Queen. And this is retailing for $2.99, not bad. And then I see that they have some blushes here in three different shades. There's all the blushes are retailing for $3.99, so a dollar more than the highlighter. This is in the shade Bitten. It looks like it's more of like a raspberry color, and I think that this is a matte finish. I think they're all, they all are. Here we have the shade Amber, which I'm totally vibing with. It looks like a beautiful, neutrally peach color. And we have this shade right here, which is called Hamptons, which is more of like a bright pink. I'm not sure if the camera is doing it justice, but it's a really nice, like baby bright pink. I also see that they have a nice amount of these NYX singular shadows, which is so beyond cute. I didn't even know something like this existed from NYX. NYX? 
NYX. Uh, these are retailing for $2.99 each. So again, with these also, you can um, put it in like a empty palette and make your own customized palette. These actually look really beautiful. You could see the cardboard is in a shape of a heart, but the actual pan of the single eyeshadow is just regular and round. Um, the shade on the left is called Jador, the middle one is Birthday Suit, and then the one on the right is called Day Club. I see we have another one of these Shiseido Facial Cotton Pads, which I'm obsessed with, almost done with mine. These are $3.99 each. I think I'm gonna purchase this one. Some more NYX products here that are completely, completely sealed. These are the NYX Hydro Touch, I believe, powders, uh, both in the same shade, Deep Honey. And these are retailing for $4.99 each. The next thing that I see here is from e.l.f. And this is from their Active line. So this is the e.l.f. Active Work Workout Ready Lip and Cheek Palette. Super beyond cute. I don't recall ever seeing this, but we have seen other products from their Active line here, which I think is pretty bomb. And these are retailing for $2.99 each. So good. And then here you guys can see what these shades look like. It comes with a brush. You could use this for the lips and the cheeks apparently. Mix and match. I think it would be really pretty. And it comes with like a highlighting shade as well. I'm loving these like lip colors because they're pretty neutral. And I feel like a ton of people would probably get a lot of use out of it. How insane is it to find a Laura Mercier caviar stick? What the hell? These were everything at some point on YouTube land. So crazy. Retailing for $9.99. There's only one piece here apparently and it's in the shade Jungle. So there you guys can see the color of this cream stick eyeshadow is that beautiful green. That color indicates what the color is. I also wanted to show you guys that they restocked and a bunch of other things at Marshalls here. And then down here we also have a nice amount of products that we've gone through a few times in the past. And then here are the new things that I showed you guys just before. The next few products I see here are from Elizabeth Arden. These are the Flawless Finish Everyday Perfection Bouncy Makeup. I don't know, powder I want to say. I don't understand why they just don't write like what it is. Like everyday perfection bouncy makeup but like what does that mean so we have four pieces here all in different shades retailing for $7.99 each so we have the shade warm honey golden ivory porcelain and beige I feel like it is just a face powder it seems like it's really nice and soft I love the packaging very similar to the bronzer and highlighter from their line for $7.99 it's really really not bad I have to think about this one I see one Laura Geller filter first luminous foundation here I don't recall ever seeing this this one in specific is in the shade fawn and this is retailing for $7.99 not bad at all for Laura Geller I've never tried this so so you guys will have to let me know if you like it or if you don't like it. It's in a really nice, like it's packaged beautifully. It's in a glass like jar and feels really high end for $7.99. That's insane. The next thing I wanted to show you guys is this baked matte satin blush from Lorac. We've seen other blushes from Lorac, but we've never seen this one, which is kind of cool. They're bringing different ones in. Retailing for $3.99. So there was only one here and this one is in the shade Flaunt. Here's what the blush looks like. It says satin matte, but this is definitely not a satin matte. I feel like it's more of like a luminous blush. I'm going to think about this one even for the $4 price tag because usually these kind of products emphasize my pores from here to who knows where my pores are huge I wanted to show you guys that we have more of these Marc Jacobs the nudes lipsticks so these are the ones that are in the nude packaging they're all brand new shades that we've never seen so excited love the formula of these guys all retailing for an $8.99 so here we have the shade Mayday which is like a deep raspberry burgundy color probably something I'm not gonna pick up because I know I'm not gonna wear it a lot so okay there's that but let's like check out the other ones so here we have the shade screen test it's just literally the perfect nude not too warm not too cool Yum! This one right here is in Moody Marga. I think that's how you say it. It's like a real, real nude, like probably very concealery. So we'll think about this guy. And then we have the shade Understudy, which is more of like a nude rosy, not too, too rosy though. So pretty. The two, next two things we have here are these Gucci nail polishes. I typically don't show you guys nail polishes because I just don't know if you're interested. I'm like more into the makeup, you know, but if there's a Gucci polish, I have to show it. It's just crazy. So these are retailing for $16.99 each. So we have Orchid Overdose and then Crushed Coral. Ugh, Crushed Coral seems like it's gonna be for me. Um, those are the two shades. One that's more grape and the other one is definitely very coral. We have two more of these MAC Singular Shadows. Shades that we've never seen before. I'm telling you, with all the shades we saw so far, I feel like one would be able to create their own MAC palette. These are $2.99 each. The copper one is in Arena and then the brown one is in the shade Brun. We have two of these MAC Dazzle Glasses. So freaking cool to see this here. I remember when I purchased my first one. I was 17 and it was everything in my entire life in my existence. These are $7.99 each. So the beautiful pink one is in Sugar Rimmed and then the other one is Via Veneto. I really like the Sugar Rimmed one. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. We have two of these Clinique Pop Splash Lip Gloss Plus Hydration like lipstick. So we have them in two shades. Latte Pop and Bubbly Pop. These are retailing for $5.99 each. So the left one is Bubbly Pop, the right one is Latte Pop. Both pretty neutral type of shades. They seem like they're gonna be delicious on the lips and they have like that chunky like packaged feel. So cute! The next thing that I see here is one that I've never seen. This is the Makeup Forever Rouge Artish Natural moisturizing soft shine lipstick retailing for $7.99 we only found one here and it's in the shade N18 well, it's a gorgeous perfect pink I love these kind of colors and the music that's playing is getting me in a zone <laughs> okay 
I see one of these Guerlain Intense Liquid Matte uh, Liquid Lipstick in the shade M17. We've never seen this one. Exciting pink. We saw a red one last time. Love the packaging. Super beyond cute. I, I will try one of these one day, but I don't think it's going to be the anything. <laughs> I also see that they have a selection of these Julep uh, nail polishes. They're all in the same shade, which is Sagittarius. If they would have it in... Scorpio, I would have totally picked it up, but I'm not a Sagittarius, I'm a Scorpio, so I'm not gonna pick it up for myself. But I wanted to show it to you guys in case you are a Sagittarius and you're into this. How fast was I just speaking? <laughs> this is retailing for $2.99. Did I use it on purpose? Okay. <laughs> you're so cute. Yes, I'm happy to be in Leora's video back. I love Leora. I miss her so much. Oh, yeah, we haven't seen each other in a very long time. I want to say hi to everyone who says they want to, they, they're ha happy to see me. Yeah, like where's Emma? <laughs> Can I say hi to Joy? Joy. Joy, hi yeah. to Joy. <laughs> so cute. But I wanted to just show you guys also that they restocked recently. And this is Laura Geller Lick Lip Products. Okay, so here's just a little bit of an overview of everything that I picked up for this week. So firstly, Emma found these bomb-ass pants for me. Look how hot they look. So I don't know if I was going to purchase it because the original price was $40 and I'm like, meh. But then it was on sale for $12. I'm telling you, Emma is the best at finding the best deals. I don't know if it fits. Hopefully it will, but they're going to look hot on. I also have a nice amount of goodies in this bag. I didn't forget about you guys. I picked up some pretty good shit. So I'm going to be doing a TJ Maxx giveaway hopefully next week or the following week. So definitely stay tuned for that. It's pretty good stuff. Like, I would love to win this, okay? Then for myself, these are the products that I ended up picking up. We have a nice amount of NARS some Becca, Marc Jacobs, and lashes too. Let's get started. So I picked up these two lashes from Kiss. These are the blowout lashes. The one on the left is in Pampador and the one on the right is in Page Boy. I also ended up picking up these Shiseido facial cotton pads. I've gone through multiples of these. Recently finished off one that I picked up from TJ Maxx, so I had to restock. These were probably the best finds of the week. It literally blew my panties off. I was just beyond, beyond shocked. I have been using Laguna since I purchased it. That's why it looks like it's been used for six years, but I only used it for like three days. So here's Casino and here's Laguna. I will say Casino is a bit lighter. Laguna is a bit deeper. They're kind of similar. So if you were on a budget and you only wanted to buy one, I think any of them should be fine. There isn't much of a difference between each. Laguna is obviously more popular, but Casino is actually a pretty popular shade as well. So the shade on the left is Casino. The one on the right is Laguna. Interesting, because I feel like in the pan, Laguna looks darker, but when swatched, Casino actually seems like it's a bit darker. These are very, very soft, and they look delicious on the skin. I ended up choosing two of the Laura Mercier Cream Smooth Lip Colors. So I picked up 60s Pink, which is the one on the left, and then Mango, which is the one on the right. Which I am going to gift one of these to Emma. I'm still not sure which one. She, didn't, she still didn't let me know which one she wants. Um, but they look really nice, very creamy, and the colors are stunning. I actually don't even think I showed this to you guys in the store, but this is one of the MAC Dazzle Shadow... Um, shadows basically i do own a goldeny shade that's part of the line um so now i have this purple one it's called midnight shine it's a really beautiful purpley color with a ton of purple glitters the next two things that i picked up were from mark jacobs i picked up one of the mark jacobs new nudes lipstick and then the exclusive for harrods mark jacobs enamored gloss in charlotte i've been dying for that one so here you guys can see what these look like. Um, the Marc Jacobs lipstick is in the shade Screen Test. I love that color. You know that's me in a lipstick. And then the gloss is in Charlotte. It's like a reddish but kind of pinkyish shade as well. The next thing that I went ahead and picked up was the Elizabeth Arden Forever Bronzer. So here you guys can see I did swatch all of them separately. So on the left we have the highlighter. In the middle is the bronzer. Then we have the blush. And then that teeny little swatch there is when they're all uh, swirled together. The next thing that I picked up was from Becca. And this is the Ombre Rouge Eye Palette. Little spoiler, I picked up another one of these for you guys in that little giveaway bag. So just stay tuned. <laughs> so excited. And here is a definition of the perfect day-to-day -day palette. I needed it. Delicious. Super creamy, very soft. A little bit of kick up, but uh, very pigmented. These were with one swipe swatches each. The next two products I have here are from NARS. So I picked up one of the NARS Audacious lipsticks and then the Velvet Lip Glide. So the shade on the right is the NARS Audacious lipstick in Catherine. It's a gorgeous, very warm, like orangey type of color, corally type of shade. And then the one on the right is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Mind Shaft whoa then the final thing i picked up was the nars highlighting blush powder which is an interesting name i should say because this is definitely a uh, highlighter not a blush like at all there you guys can see it's in the shade albatross which now that i'm remembering it was super popular on youtube about six years back which is crazy i'm gonna go ahead and clean up now so happy with these products you guys won't even know all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this tj maxx vlog and a whole video definitely let me know what products you guys picked up this week from tj maxx and then also Keep those pictures coming on Instagram because 
I need to know what you find so that I can find it too and we can share the vibe here, you know? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video for my TJ Maxx shop my stash. Bye. <laughs>